Hello and welcome to my first how-to video on this channel. I'll, I'll be bringing these out now and again. Uh, I'd like to keep on doing these interviews. I've got a few people lined up. I just need to go and get them filmed. Um, but I thought for now, I can entertain you all with how to use Sibelius for bagpipe music. Um, lots of people are now using this. I've been using it for a long time. Um, used to be the kind of bagpipe music writer gold stuff. Um, but Sibelius just looks epic. Very good for harmony writing and stuff like that too. So. Uh, let's just open up Sibelius here, I want to click on blank, change instruments, go to is usually piano, however violin in the string section, very very good for if you want some harmonies uh, written in. Uh, now we don't need the left hand so let's delete that from the score, ok, 4-4 four, four for Scotland the Brave, and we only need two sharps, only two, unless you want to play your high G sharp, uh, it's entirely up to you. Uh, create. Uh, now let's just expand this here and get this into the middle. Click and drag. That doesn't need to be so high and we don't need this. Uh, now click on the end bar here. This is obviously not enough so click on that end bar and press and hold R and you'll have a lot of extra bars. Now we don't need that because it's back paint music uh, and this thing here we need to get rid of as well. Now, intro notes. Um, I didn't use these for a long time because I didn't know how to. Um, big thanks to Lauren McDougall who actually showed me this wee trick here. Don't need sound just yet. So just fill up the very end of that very first bar and delete everything from it. Uh, and then just click and drag this back like that. Um, now I've already written out the first line but there's still things to fix. So command V. For example, this. We don't need that there. That would look awful. So enter and that's you sorted. Now, stuff like this, especially here, um, there isn't any embellishments that will get in the way but if that was a D and that was a strike, that this would all just be getting in the way. Um, so what to do is pull them down, click and drag. This is something that not a lot of people are doing yet so here's the first big trick. Click and drag. Uh, beams don't usually have them in groups four like this. It's up to you. It's either or. Um, so go to the beam section and click on start beam. Uh, that's fine. So pull that down. Same deal here. Click on there. Drag oh, that down. That's a bit too low. So bring that up. Uh, okay, that's now starting to look quite nice. If you want to hear how it sounds to so make sure you're definitely writing the correct notes and note values, uh, click on transport, bring this down to about 80, 79, whatever, and press play with some volume. Okay, uh, sounding not too bad at all. Um, these things here bar numbers we don't need. So text, numbering, no numbers. There are shortcuts for that but it's quick enough to do that. Uh, now the next couple of bars are definitely the same. So this is when we can start using copy and paste. Uh, this will save you a lot of time. A lot of time. What I'll do is I'll just put in this first bar just to show you how everything works and then we'll copy and paste these couple of bars here. So the first bar, starting there with our crotchet, dotted, Waver on A. There we go. Now that's not looking correct, I know, but we're going to fix that. Uh, there's the beam thing. So once something's highlighted, say if you're clicking on random things like that, just press escape once. Uh, if you want to keep highlight, then just go to here, start beam. There we go. It's looking nice. Now this thing here, press X and it will go down. If it doesn't go down, it's been a total nightmare. You can just click and drag and pull it up or down. It's up to you. Um, but obviously, bagpipe music with embellishments, usually down. Um, so that's how you figure out that. Now, copy and paste this bar here, because that is exactly the same. This bar here is half correct. This all changes into quaver. So what to do here is click on the start note that you need, press and hold shift, Click on the last note that you need, copy and paste into that bar. So this is correct. This isn't. So 
let's go to the notes section, click on the quaver, put it down C, R to repeat that note, and then put it to the connect thing, R to repeat again, down to the normal note, R, and we're down again. Easy as that. Now, beams, start beam, it looks nice. Um, and then the very last bar here, more notes, more notes, and down, dotted, quaver, semi quaver, B, another crotch here, and then a couple of quavers, and that's the first part of Scotland the Brave done. Again, click on that bar line, press enter. We might need to come back to that once we're putting the embellishments because it does start to get a bit funny. Um, so let's put these the correct way, X and X, and just bring these beams down. Now, if you're repeating a tune, just kind of double click, there's your end repeat, and then just click that in there, and then same deal for the start, there's the start repeat. Uh, now this, I'm glad this has happened. Um, what to do, if that's doing that, click and drag, Put that here, and when you push this back, there you go, you're sorted. But we don't need it, Scotland the Brave doesn't have repeats. Um, there we go. Now, you've heard it without grace notes, I'm quite happy with how this is looking, so let's now put in some embellishments. To do this, there are plugins, I'm pretty sure there are plugins to make this a bit faster, but um, just save a bit of time, go to more notes, go to the Appoggiatura. Back to normal notes for your demi semi quaver, and let's quickly put in some embellishments. And obviously, we can copy and paste this in a second to save a lot of time in that second line. The music's going crazy already. I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. Okay, first line done. Um, escape and escape. Now, this is not right. So, um, again here, that's doing nothing. Clicking on the bar line and changing it's doing nothing. So, we need to go to the layout. Now, the margins, this is something you can do at the very end or very start, it's up to you. Margins usually go for a narrow, it just gives you a bit more space for the music. Portrait or landscape, whatever, that's fine. But the staff size, this bit here, is gonna help you with this. Here. So what to do is just keep on clicking down until everything is in the one line, on the one line. Uh, if it doesn't, it means you do again need to go back to that bar there. If you do need to do that, then just make everything bigger again until it starts going crazy. And that's us sorted for that. And it does zoom out, so let's just go back in. Maybe not. Okay. Um, you'll all be thinking, hopefully, that this is now starting to look quite nice, but it can still be better. Um, for example, this, I'm not too keen on these flat things, and they're all very close. This in particular, that looks terrible. Um, so what to do is click on the corner and pull it up, and give it a little tilt like this. Grips, they're fine, they can go straight up, they look quite good like this. Throws on D, they can also do with a small tilt like that. Now, to save having to go to this more notes, appoggiatura, and grace notes, whatever, and typing it all in again, um, just copy and paste. Click on the bar you need. Command C, Command V, there you go. This bar is exactly the same as well. Command V, this starts getting different, but again, you click on the first note you need, press and hold Shift, Command C, click on the bar, Command V. Now, that's all messed up so um maybe sometimes we'll do that um what we'll do is we'll just quickly put that doesn't take long last bar and there 
there's our intro notes for the next part too. Okay, uh, same again with Throne D. Let's sort that right away. There we go. That is basically it. Copy and paste is very handy, especially if you only need these little notes here. Just click, shift, click, uh, command C, whatever. And that, that is basically, that is how to make Sibelius look nice. Um, for burls, I'll just show you a quick burl down here. These could do with looking better. So, Podia Tura, Demi Quaver. Now, your bog standard Loe burl there. Hmm. Um, looks awful down here. Maybe not awful, it still works. People know what you're doing, but bring it right up. Makes it look a lot more like a normal burl. Now, if you're putting a G grace note on it, it looks normal itself. Just need to bring it back down. There we go. That looks very nice. Um, certainly much nicer than it did a minute ago without being fixed. Not very nice. Uh, and that's, that is basically it. Um, if you want to know any more, um, I could maybe put another wee video together, but this is just a quick, quick introduction to Sibelius for bagpipe music. Then you can save as whatever. Um, I don't think I've missed anything. If you want to check in harmonies though, uh, add or remove from the home, that's when you want the strings. So violin, add score. If you want seconds uh, and thirds, add fourths, you can go for that, but we're not going to go that crazy. Just seconds, so put that in there. It does make everything go a little bit crazy again. Yeah, so I'll, I'll explain harmonies later. We can go over that in the next episode. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned something. Um, Spelius is very good. It is quite costly. That's the only thing. This cost me about £250. I got the, the teacher discount. Um, you can do a subscription thing now. I can link that. I'll, I'll put a link uh, below for the Spelius website. But that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. See you later. Thank you.